Hi there, this is Christy Matthews, ChristyJMatthews.com. And I have a question for you. Are you answering the questions that your audience is asking? So I had the privilege of answering a question from uh, somebody in my audience yesterday, and I really do appreciate the question. Thank you so much for asking it. And you know, when somebody asks a question and it's going to be helpful for the community, then the best thing to do is not only answer their question, but to make a video and give the answer to the rest of the community. So before I get into the content, let me ask you a question here. Um, how many times are you posting on Facebook a day? Do you post one time a day? If you do, put, that, put a one down in the comment. If you post two times a day, put two in the comment. If you post more than five times a day, would you put a five plus? Really appreciate. I'd like to know what you're doing. So the question for me was, how many times a day should I post on Facebook? And I know that she was responding to one of the videos I had done because this is somewhat confusing uh, for some people. That's a word I don't like to use, but it can be confusing because there are so many people out there, social influencers, coaches, uh, if you will, who are saying that you need to post X amount of times a day. And it can vary. It does vary. And I'm here to tell you, and I was one of those people, I was under the impression that you must post several times a day to hog the news feed. Until I got some, some very valid information on this, uh, coming from experts in the field like Neil Patel and Eric Sue. These are people that drive the internet. These are the ones that are coaching uh, large corporations that go ahead and they, they're advertising on the same networks that we're on. And uh, here's what they, what they know. And because they're in, you know, with, with the people that run these social networks, this is what the social networks are saying. The social networks have too much content on them. It's way too much content for people to consume, just way too much. So the networks are slowing down, and it's this is almost, um, let me give you a good analogy. Let's say you're driving down the interstate and you see billboards, right? Okay. And you see one after another after another. And this is really how social media is getting, is that you see one post, you see another post. And it's moving so fast, they want it to slow down so that you can actually read the billboard, okay? So you can enjoy the material and engage with the material. Have you noticed lately that you might have somebody who is posting quite a bit a day that they're stacked up in your news feed and the first uh, thing you get on in the morning, especially if you have them set as to in your default settings as somebody that you would like to see their posts when you first uh, log on, you might see, you know, five, 10 posts of theirs. And this is what they're talking about because you have to scroll through all of that to get to the other posts of the day. And of course, the social networks are going to push up content that uh, people are responding to. So uh, this is something that you want to pay attention to. So it comes down to uh, how I answered the question was this, is that there are two rules of thumb. If you are a large influencer like a Grant Cardone or a Gary Vee or a Ty Lopez, People who have media staff on hand, videographers, people who can take clips and make videos, they, they'll create a piece of content, uh, these large influencers, and their staff will go ahead and break them down into one minute segments for Instagram, you know, two, two minutes and 20, 28 seconds, you know, two, I'm sorry, two minutes and 20 seconds for Twitter and break them down to meet the social network needs. Well, I don't know if you're like me, I'm a solopreneur, I don't have time for all of this stuff. I've got a lot of other things that are going on in my business as well as my life. 
so I don't have time to go ahead and cut videos and things like that. And this is generally how it is for 99% of the people out there. And to give uh, respect to Grant Cardone and Gary Vee and so forth, is that it is good to learn from what they're doing and strive to getting to what they're doing. And when I say that they post many times a day, I want to be very clear that they're not hogging up the network time. They're very short little snippets, very quick, but they're getting in your field of vision so that you're always, they're always working on you so that they, you know, they have that, well, they branded themselves is what it is. They branded themselves to where you recognize them when, they, when you see them. They're just small, short little commercials. But for the solopreneur like me, I'm not there yet. I don't know if I'll ever get there, and I don't know if I want to be there. So here's what the majority of us need to do, and this comes right from the top, is that you should post no more than one time a day of this type of a post. A quote, uh, a feel-good uh, post, you know, a jiffy, that type of thing. No more than one of those a day. And then your content. So that's a total of two posts. So if you're not producing content and you're just out on social media, you know, just to drop in and put out a quote and then you're off of it and you're not trying to build a business using social media, that's cool, no problem. But if you are trying to build a business, you really want to go towards content. You want to make sure it's quality. It is material that's going to help your audience. That's what you want to focus on. And if it takes you a little bit more time to put it together, then by all means, take the time. See, back in the day, and it wasn't just too long ago, it was just get out on the social media networks and be present. And, you know, you would talk about what you're thinking about, your opinions you have. No. Um, at least in my business and where I have been instructed and coached to do is that you just go for value and you give a quality content, something that's going to make the difference in your audience's life. So I hope that this uh, expanded answer to the question that I gave is helpful. Now, a couple of tips here is that when somebody does ask the question, which is what came on on my social media channel, I answered it. I messaged the person back and gave them a, a very sufficient answer. And then secondly, I'm making a video here because I want the information to get out to everybody. I thought that if she felt it was important to ask the question, that others may be uh, thinking the same question as well, and I'm glad to deliver the answer. I'm so thankful to be able to do that, and I really, really appreciate that. And if you have questions about anything related to social media, bring them here. If I don't know the answer, I'm going to go out and find it because that's what I do. I'm constantly learning about things. So drop them here. I'll find out for you. I'll come back and report to you, and I'll learn something new. So we are all working together. Lastly, I wanted to ask, did I clear up any confusion around how many times you should post in a day? If I did, would you please say yes in the comment? And if I didn't, say no. And if you have a question for me, please let me know what it is. And I'd appreciate you liking and commenting on this video and please to share it and i hope that you have a great day and you got a lot of value so i'll take care of that. take care see you next time